Hey guys, this is Iskraxa from iPhoneBlogger.com. Today we're going to be showing you a tutorial on how to jailbreak your Apple TV second generation using the Pwnage tool. So first of all, um, I'll post the links just below the video for the files that you need to download. Um, on our website we have a full tutorial that will um, take you through the steps as well, but um, a video tutorial can be really useful. So, um, first of all, just download um, from the links below uh, iTunes 10.1. Um, the firmware files for the Apple TV um, as well as the Pwnage tool 4.1. Once you've got those downloaded, um, we'll just open up the application. Cool, now double click on the Pwnage tool. Cool, now um, here we want to select Apple TV, so this one. If you double click on that, um, then the Pwnage tool will now search uh, your computer for um, the IPSW or the firmware files that are um, allocated to the Apple TV. So if you've previously downloaded these, um, the Pwnage tool will search for that and find that. So this is um, Apple TV 2.1, uh, the 4.1 firmware file. So we'll click on that and click continue. And then hit uh, yes to continue. Cool, now the Pwnage tool will um, go through and build the IPSW for you. Um, this will be the custom firmware file that you'll restore uh, through iTunes to jailbreak your device. So we'll just let this do it stuff. Cool, at this point uh, the Pwnage tool will ask you for your password. Um, if you have a password for your computer just simply Simply enter that now and hit OK. Okay, great. So the firmware file has now been created. Uh, we now need to enter the Apple TV into DFU mode. Um, there's a couple important things that we need to note when we do this. Um, first of all, we need to make sure that the Apple TV isn't connected um, through the power cable, so just make sure that's left out. Um, now we have to enter uh, enter DFU mode through um, the Pwnage tool. This is because it, um, it inserts a special kind of export that allows iTunes to restore using the custom firmware that we just created. So when you're ready, go ahead and plug um, your micro USB cable into the um, into the back of the Apple TV. When we do this, we need to be holding on to the remote. Um, and be aiming this app at the Apple TV um, so that we can prepare to um, enter it using the buttons. So go ahead and plug it in now. Place that down. Now the Pwnage tool will detect it. Now we need to prepare um, to hold down the menu and play buttons. So hold those down for 7 seconds while you're aiming that at the Apple TV. Great, now release them. And there we go. Uh, the Pwnage tool will bring up uh, a, um, a message that will confirm that we've successfully entered the Apple TV into DFU mode. Simply click OK and then click on iTunes. Great, now on iTunes here, um, make sure that your Apple TV is still connected using the cable. Um, now hold down the option key um, for PC, that'll be um, the control or shift button, and simply click on restore. Um, this will bring up a uh, window in which we can select um, uh, the firmware file that we'd like to use. Um, this file that we've created will be on the desktop, uh, but it should be called Apple TV 2, 4.1.0 Custom Restore. Simply click on that and click Restore, and then click Restore. Now, Apple TV, uh, sorry, iTunes will complete the process of extracting the software, um, confirming it with Apple. Um, and then restoring the firmware file to your Apple TV.
great. At this point, iTunes will come up with a message um, confirming that our Apple TV has been restored. Um, simply click OK. Um, now from here, we can simply disconnect the Apple TV from um, the cable that, that connects it to the computer. Uh, once we've done this, it'll all close up. Um, now you can plug your Apple TV back into um, your TV using the HDMI cable. Um, and from there, you'll be able to install um, any of the programs that are available, for example, Neto TV um, or anything else like that. Thank you for watching our tutorial, and be sure to check out iPhoneBlogger.com.